president made that announcement to deepen the entertainment industry in Nigeria, um, it is a loan, but on a very concessional basis, you know, knowing fully well that Nollywood, without any support from anybody, from the government, they were able to shoot themselves to number three in the world. So the government felt that as part of the transformation agenda of Mr. President, you know, he needed to uh, deepen that industry because it has a lot of you know, potentials. Nixon Bank was in the forefront as part of our mandate because we export services as part of our mandate to come up with the draft guidelines, how orderly, how in a structured way will the industry pra practitioners be able to assess this fund. So we did that. Uh, we discussed with the industry practitioners so that we can get their own input. And uh, the guidelines are now ready. We have commenced the disbursement you know, of the fund. The fund is based on people that are interested that come to the bank, you know, to assess, you know, that we are given. Uh, so for now, we'll be able to dispose, you know, over 100 million. But there are several applications that are undergoing processing. There are some that we have approved, but the practitioners are trying to comply with the pre disbursement conditions. You know, so that is what is there. The funds are there, and um, we'll be able to circulate you know, the operating guidelines that will make it easy for people to assess the money. What are some of the funding gaps within the creative sector and how do you recommend they are dealt with in order to better position Nigeria's financial systems to serve this industry? You know, funding in any industry must come in a structured manner, right? Here we are talking about bank funds. The bank the banking uh, law in Nigeria says that if you give a certain amount of money without collateral, it becomes a criminal thing. So one of the major challenges that we are facing in the industry is for the industry practitioners to bring a collateral, knowing fully well that this money is a loan, it's not a subsidy. That is a major problem. The second problem is even in terms of documentation, letting these people bring in feasibility report or even keeping books on what they are doing is also a challenge you know so apart from the money being there how do they bring the required documentation to be able to assess the money because we need to be capacity not just funding intervention we need to be capacity to do that is why we are working with the exim bank of india because they are financing hollywood and they have done that over the years so we are working with them to learn from them how have they been able to come up with very creative and innovative products to be able to overcome the issue of collateral. That collaboration is on. So we are looking at that. We are also looking at how do we monetize, how do we tinker with the law concerning intellectual property rights? Because it is extremely very important. People need to protect their work. People need to even monetize this IPR in order to give to a bank to assess these funds. That has not been done, so there are issues of piracy. But we're trying to see how best that can be done. Even some of the themes or some of the productions that are in the industry, do we have a very effective distribution platform? So the market has moved. The market has, is not digit, digitalized. So how do we have a lot of theaters? How do we have um, you know, a lot of the exhibition infrastructure? That's just some of the things that you know, we, are, we are looking at. What is Nexim's role in the development of Nigeria's creative industry? What attraction does the sector hold for the bank? We are looking at two areas. We are looking at funding, we are looking at capacity building. Because capacity is key. If I give you money and you don't have the capacity to manage that money, that money will go down the drain. You know, so Nexim is collaborating with a lot of agencies, you know, to see how we can build capacity. Um, we are funding the review of the corporate law, you know, in consultation, you know, with some other, you know, legal firms. This uh, policy dialogue that has just been had, we had our own input. We believe that the only way we can deepen the industry is to build capacity. The talents alone cannot be translated into money, except you are able to build that capacity for them to see how they can manage funds. What is the current investment potential of Nigeria's creative and entertainment industries and what kind of growth can we expect to see? In my opinion, it's extremely very viable, right? Apart from financial, the social implications are also huge. Like I said at the, at the remarks, 
I was saying that um, Africa as a whole has a problem. Every government in Africa has a problem. Because in Africa we have about 1.2 billion you know, people. The people that are within the age of 30 years and below constitute about 60%. And that is the youth, that is the pillar of the society. And most of these people are unemployed. Within this, you have people that have talents. If you don't engage these people productively, there's no way we can live without security challenges. We have a lot of internal strife. We have so much security challenges. It's because this pillar that has the strength of the, count of the various countries has not been fully engaged. You know, so we believe that uh, it is an area that uh, we must, uh, you know, pay attention to. Because once we do that, a whole lot of things, both in terms of social, both in terms of economic, job creation, generation of foreign exchange, ensuring um, security, stability of security, all this will come, you know, along.